<clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, we have uh, roughly 25 guests uh, here today in the Taylor Gallery. I'd ask them to all stand up. Um, I'm sorry, I'm poaching from all over the state. These are um, uh, foster youth and former foster youth uh, who are here to talk to you, to share their stories. Um, uh, and uh, what they'll do is uh, change all of our preconceived notions, including mine, about um, about the system. And uh, I'm not able to give you a background on each one of these folks, um, so I will walk through, uh, give you their names, and just say a little bit at the end. But I hope you'll have time to talk to them. Um, we have um, Rachel Bedsworth, uh, Robin Akubak, um, Mark Sibley, uh, Tracy Hawk, um, Benna Salida, uh, Sarah Redman, um, Amanda Metivier, who is a head of Facing Foster Care in Alaska, the director. She's a former foster youth and, and has been a foster parent. Uh, we have Barb Malchek and uh, Janine Reap, who are both guardian ad litems, uh, who are also on the board of Facing Foster Care in Alaska. Um, Nita Flores, Becca Shear, Angela Galante, Marcus Tau, Anna Redman, Paige Hughes, Alexa Biso, Tristan Thompson, Gary Lose, Angel Gonzalez, Zach Carter, Jamie Yelechko, Slade Martin. They're from all over the state. And what I would just ask, and I ran this by the speaker um, just to get a little information. Uh, for those of you who have been in three or fewer foster homes, uh, please sit. For those of you who have been in five or fewer foster homes, please sit. For those of you who have been in 10 or fewer foster homes, please sit. For those of you who have been in 15 or fewer foster homes, please sit. For those of you who have been in 25 or fewer foster homes, please sit. For those of you who have been in 45 or fewer foster homes, please sit. 55 or fewer. Thank you if you would help me welcome them to the gallery.